Husker Online couldn't pass up a trip to the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada, to check in on Class of 2022 Nebraska running back commit Ashton Hayes. It was senior night at McQueen High School, and the Lancers entered the contest with Reno High, a perfect 6-0 on the season. Hayes entered the night, averaging a whopping 171.3 yards per game with 16 touchdowns in those six games. But Friday against Reno, the Huskies' defense held Ashton to just 79 yards on 14 carries with one 39-yard touchdown halfway through the second quarter. It was a low-scoring affair with Reno coming out on top 14-6, handing McQueen their first loss of the year. We caught up with Ashton after the game to get the latest from the future Husker. You know, senior night, tough night, uh, not not the way you wanted to end up, but uh, still a good game. Uh, just kind of talk about the game a little bit. Uh, well, we came out, we came out fast. We came out, you know, trying to score, um, but we couldn't get it converted. And you know, our linemen had some struggles throughout the whole game. Um, so I feel like that was a big part of our loss tonight. Um, just getting those guys to, you know get their blocks and, and know the plays, and, and we'll be good. And uh, you, you did break away. You had that 39-yard touchdown. Uh, talk about that play. Uh, how'd that open up? Uh, honestly, just I was just patient. I waited for the hole, and I kind of just slid over to the next gap and just used my speed to burst out. So, you know, even though it's lost, uh, you guys were undefeated coming into the game, so uh, you're still sitting pretty for the playoffs, right? Definitely, sir. Um, and I think that, you know, our team, our team knows that, and, and they know that. Um, so whoever we see in the playoffs, you know, they're going to have a tough team to beat. All right. Uh, talk a little bit about Nebraska, about your, uh, you know, your commitment. Um, you know, how often uh, are you on the, uh, you know, talking with uh, Coach Held these days? Uh, Coach Held, it's at least two to three times a week, you know, FaceTimes, texting, things like that. He sent me a good luck text today. Um, so I'm sure he, he was at home watching today. Um, really just excited to get out there and, and get my chances with Nebraska, um, knowing that my line will be solid and, and they'll be ready to block and ready to go. Um, and then I'll just be, you know, running. <laughs> um, you know, what, what have you been seeing from, uh, you know, that running game lately at Nebraska? They've kind of uh, ramped things up there and, uh, you know, uh, Ramir Johnson and Jacquez Yant uh, getting some chances. Definitely. So I just watched the game against Northwestern. And I've seen Jacquez's big, big run, and I thought that should have been a touchdown for sure. Um, but I like the way that, you know, they're getting their backs and utilizing them to their skill set, which is something that I hope they do when I get there. So I'm just excited to be there. What's, uh, what's Coach Held kind of told you uh, what, what he expects, uh, you know, kind of how, how to use you when, he gets, when you get there? I mean, it could be, it could be comparable, similar to Ramir Johnson, Wanda Robinson, or Maurice Washington. Um, just that speed look, you know, the draw plays, the stretch plays, just getting me in space um, and using me in the receiving game as well. Um, so honestly, you know, just utilizing my skill set to the best of uh, their abilities. Now, have you uh, started to imagine yourself uh, playing in front of 90,000 people yet? Of course, of course. It's always on my mind, especially last game. You know, you see the, the video from Twitter with the fireworks shooting off and things like that. So, you know, it gets my heart beating and, and I can't wait to be there. So that, that's apparently that's a new thing that they're going to be doing. Uh, you know, it works great at night and that atmosphere has just been crazy those last two weeks. And um, so I, you got plans uh, tomorrow morning. You got to get up early to watch the Minnesota game. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, after after our film study, you know, watching this game, we're definitely going to hop on the TV and, and watch that. And, uh, you know, uh, have you been in contact uh, with the other guys in your class? Uh, you, you know, been in a lot of contact with any of those guys lately? Definitely. I mean, me and Grant Page, we have really good connections. I mean, I even still have, you know, connections with Markeith Williams, who actually committed to uh, the U. But, you know, we keep in contact because we, we formed a bond on the visit, and I feel like, you know, Nebraska's atmosphere is what, what created that for sure. Um, so, yeah, I definitely keep in, to in contact with them. And, uh, you know, you, uh, you committed back in June, and uh, you haven't been back yet for a game, right? No, sir. Do you have an official lined up, or are, do you know when you're going to be doing that? No, I do not. Um, so hopefully we can make a long playoff run here, and hopefully I can squeeze one in uh, before our state championship game. Um, but if we do sadly take a loss or anything like that, you know, I'll probably just get on the plane the next day um, and take another visit. Cool. And, you know, how familiar are you with, uh, you know, the history of the running back position at Nebraska? Uh, I did. Coach Hell was telling me how we do have uh, about like 20, I mean, 40 or so dudes that have played running back and went to the league. And then obviously we have Heisman Trophy winners. Um, so obviously it's just, a, it's just a great place to be, especially at, at the running back position. Awesome. Well, we'll let you get out of here. Uh, one final thing. Do you have a, a message for Husker fans? 
definitely. I mean, I can't wait to be there. I hope you guys welcome me, and I can't wait to, you know, take that thing to the house, GBR. All right, thanks, Ashton, and, uh, you know, good luck here in the playoffs. I appreciate it. Reporting from Reno, Nevada, for HuskerOnline.com, I'm Greg Peterson.